Before the modern electric refrigerator, people chilled and preserved their food in ice houses, structures filled with blocks of ice. It's perhaps hard to imagine that a lawsuit for breach of a real estate sales contract would center around one of these early refrigerators, yet that's precisely what happened in the 1928 case of Mitchell v. Lath. Charles Lath owned a farm. Across the road from the farm was a separate parcel of land owned by George Lunn. On Lunn's land, there was an ice house that belonged to Lath. In late 1923, Lath began negotiating to sell the farm to Catherine Mitchell. Mitchell wanted to buy the farm, but she thought the ice house across the road was an eyesore. Lath verbally promised to remove the ice house if Mitchell purchased the farm. Relying on this promise, Mitchell did just that, through her husband. The written contract set forth the party's respective obligations in meticulous detail, addressing matters such as the purchase price, risk of loss, and responsibility for mortgage interest, insurance payments, the broker's commission, and even the water bill. However, the contract didn't mention the ice house. Mitchell paid the purchase price and took possession of the farm, but Lath refused to remove the ice house as he'd promised. Mitchell then sued Lath for breach of contract in New York State Court, seeking an order of specific performance compelling Lath to get rid of the ice house. The trial court found for Mitchell, holding that Lath's oral promise was part of the final contract. The appellate division affirmed. Undaunted, Lath asked the Court of Appeals of New York, the state's highest court, to take up the case, which it did.